I'm live. Somehow, some way. In the middle of fucking cleaning up here, guys, I got fucking short ribs, or not short ribs, I got beef ribs on the fucking, in the pot over there that's brazen. Uh, gotta make some taters too. Kinda of done with all this shit, though. Don't know how long I'll be able to keep this up. Sorry, guys. Hey. Life sucks, and then you die. Yeah, I know. This is uh, horrible, isn't it? Run an electric heater. Because I got no heat. Should I stay down in fucking Florida? Got to find a new job or something. I don't know. Talk to the boss, get something rolling because got to lose my ass here. Been cooking things out of my my freezer for a while now, because you know I stocked up on that shit. I had to stop up, stock up on that shit, otherwise I'd be starving right now. Wouldn't have shit. Be begging for food too. what it is, I guess. Usual thing, you know? Fucking single white working male means I gotta pay for all the fucking illegal immigrants. You know, though, Maybe they have a point. Maybe I'll just go buy and find an abandoned house and I'll live there for a month and it'll be fucking mine, right? It's about the only way I'm going to get anything out of this fucking world nowadays. Hmm. About the only way. Sorry if I'm bitching too much. Just someday I'll be back, but. Back. I mean, 
someday, maybe I won't have to bitch. Highly doubtful, but seeing the way this world's going, they ain't gonna fucking just lower their prices all of a sudden now. So, kind of fucked. But you know, illegal immigrants have to fucking eat too, right? You gonna stand there? You and Abby, buddy. You're my only lights. Then you do this. This way again next year. Not gonna be this way again next year. And yeah, yo, whatever, I'm still doing it, right? How long am I going to be able to keep it up? Right?
see much promise in this life anymore, guys. And then, you know, I should say in this this uh, style, this is way I'm going. It just ain't working anymore. Especially in these fucking winters. You know, everybody's like, oh, don't bitch, you live in the North Country. Yeah, I've lived here for 51 fucking years in the fucking North Country dealing with fucking winter. Every fucking winter. I can fucking bitch. I fucking earn the right to say, I'm sick of winters here. I have all the skiing equipment. I can go skiing. I can do this. I can do that. Uh, oops. Yeah, I ain't fucking spending 150 bucks for a fucking ticket, though. But, anyways, this, I guess the show must go on, huh? upset about it, guys. It'll pass. I'll be fine. Keep on dealing with this bullshit. Yeah. Say next year ain't gonna be like this. Just can't keep this shit going like this. So it'll be different.
haven't come nearly enough, close enough to drinking enough yet, I guess. Still functioning, you know, right? Those ribs are going to braise for a while. Showed up a little late, I know. Everything I got in this place right now is all stuff that, you know, doesn't just cook up. So... things why do I do things why do I do things and there's a fire on that fucking thing right there I can't have it on the fucking table So I got white haters. I think they make the best mash. You can argue with me if you want, but I don't give a fuck. to get a pot out for that. potatoes for a little bit.
You're gonna have to stand next to this fucking fire over here.
I just wanted to warm up. Fuck this weather. Use garlic powder, guys. I don't have any real garlic. But I did. But I know. It's alright, though. So, make the beef ribs, get them to be fall apart tender, strain the liquid, then we'll make a gravy out of that liquid. Pour that over the beef ribs and the taters. Probably do have some veggies somewhere around here, all right? Peas and carrots. Yes. There's probably more stuff in there. I don't know. Probably use good old Chef Mike for that. Let's get uh let's get these things peeled. Used to peel potatoes in the restaurants with a knife. Huh. Many moons ago.
many moons ago. Probably won't need many of these. Just one more. So, let me explain this to you real quick. In the old lodge, Dutch oven, I, uh, I seared the two ribs first. And then uh, I added some onion. Uh, some carrots, some uh, red wine, some sake, vegetable stock, chicken stock, uh, a couple of cubes of my demi glaze that I made. A little bit of better than bouillon. Put that all in there until it was uh, about that far from the top of the of the of the ribs. Brought it up to first. Brought it up to a boil, then lowered the heat. Now it's on the simmer. And brazen away. I have no idea how long it's going to take. But I'm pretty certain it's going to be another hour or two. Huh. So.
This is what it is, I guess. and put these taters in the water for now so that they don't turn colors on me. get the other camera out and I'll show you what it looks like over there. Time you jump up here, you move the things. Ugh. Someday, I guess I'll just start a fucking channel where it's just cats, right? done right you know not even close <laughs> like I said just cats at least one anyway Jim, what are you doing? 
Oh, you think so? There, you want to say that right here? You want to say that right there? Huh? Jason. Yeah. Look at him. Just look at him. So, yeah. I mean, anybody out there that's saying, Why are you feet? Well, I give them. They each get one of those. Per day, and that's it. Try to give them less, but you know they got to eat something, right? So, but we'll put we'll put the camera right on him like this, right, right, so that everywhere he goes, you just see him. Aha. Jim, you gotta get down. Right back up there. Yes, I know, Jim. How much loving can one tat, cat get? Huh? Huh? Is that it? Yeah, well, you know, the heat's out here. I know, you don't care about that, do you? You're just waiting for me to come back out so you can jump back up on the table, aren't you?
Oh my God, I haven't felt right since uh, last night. I don't know, guys. I'm not going to give up on you yet. You know? Can't see that happening. But I would like some warmer weather. I'm going to tell you that right now. So. Oh, what do you guys think of episode six? Uh, RTBLB connection. It's a good one. It's almost there, though. Uh, I'm not going to give anything away, though. <laughs> so, you're just going to have to watch it, you know. Uh, <laughs> almost putting a jacket on, I'm telling you. As well, look the part though, right? Ish. What? What? We're going to have to talk about this whole thing of starving for attention. Get back from Florida. And here you are. Yes, Jim. Here. I know a place for you. Right down there. Ha ha. Ha ha. What do we got in here? Yes. Well, that's good. People, twenty second of May, will two thousand twenty four. That would be great. I'm just going to wait now. Maybe I go across the street. See the R&D staff. You know.
These are going to be good when they're done. It's just not going to be something that's done right away. Should have probably started them like three hours ago. But. We'll know when they're ready. Though. We'll just keep on cooking them. That's all we can do. It took me 10 hours to cook that pork shoulder, pork butt last weekend. It was good. I thought, you know, could have been, I don't know, I think, I think the next time I do pork butt, I think I'm going to season it and put it in the fridge overnight. Let it dry brine. Prime, prime time, and then uh, yeah, cook it from there. I think it'll add a little bit more flavor to it. Flavor, flav, like like B True's mad flavor. Probably get some more of that Evan honey eventually. That is after I get some, you know, oil in the furnace. Girl. Try that. Oof. I don't know that either. I got this stuff a long time ago. Two years ago, I think, for the St. Patrick's Day. So, British old. What? Just kidding, I didn't really say anything. It does have the fruit in it. 
think I told Mark that it didn't have the fruit in it, but it does have the fruit in the bottom of it. I don't know if you can see that. But. You want some? Well, then why are you on the table? Hmm? Here, smell it. Cheers. Ooh. Getting really blueberry-ish, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Whee! Isn't that fun? I'll tell you what, it's cold. Yes, Jim. Can't wait to go metal detecting either. You know? Look at all the now. Yeah.
I do not like it though. Jonathan Williams, thanks for following me on Facebook. Looks like you're a foodie. Food guy as well. Yeah, yeah. Mud bugs. Hey look, I'm live right now.
all grilling. You know what I mean? Brazen. Brazen, brazen, brazen. Brazen, brazen, brazen. Still looks the same.
So I didn't think I needed to for coming through. I'm so happy to get to put my hair every time I dry it. It only takes a minute. Look at that. The Happy Duty Fox are excellent for an amazing traffic pack, even for kids' hair. Wow, you love Swiffer before your money back. Hey, watch how it's from Gillette Labs. This green bar releases trapped hairs from my face. Game changer. While the flex this contour is to it. And my five precision blades finish the job for the ultimate Gillette shaving experience. The best that they can get is Gillette Labs. Solgar Cellular Energy provides holistic support for cellular energy, repair, and vitality. Solgar Cellular Energy. We go cell deep. Well, the RD stuff laid off is off and the outside. Just got to wait for this to be done. And uh, two forks is how you tell if this is done or not. Usually the best way to do it. Make your forks and... Pulls apart easy. It's not there yet. I know it's not, but better way to go. You, you don't want to, you don't need, it's done when it can pull apart easily. If it doesn't pull apart easily, it's not done. Got that?
No, no, Jim. I'm going to have to start doing something about your food. Yeah, you. You know, you are a big fur ball, too. Lots of fur. Lots of fur going on. Lots of fur. Yeah, you. Uh huh. You and your big poofy tail, too. Look at my forks. You need my forks out of this. Brazen away. I don't know why, it's just, you know, I'm just going to jump back up here soon. You know. So. Why does it have to be all about you? That's my beer. What you got to say? Is that it? Hmm? Anything else you want to say? Is that all you say? Huh? Is that all you say? That's yeah, 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 you did that a few times.
Yes, your scent is on this camera now. Right, we get it, Jim. We get it. It's a little dirty, too. Anything else? What else, Jim? What else? If you want to be the star here, come on now. Anything? All that light is coming from the ring light. Huh? Here. Oh. Oh. Jim.
Put my other uh, little tripod. I can hook this up. I can hook this camera up to it. I ain't got it. I don't know where it is. I mean, I do have it. I just don't know where it is.
Gabby, do you know how the tripod works? You got a little one. I am saying Every day. 
to make my home feel amazing on my bed, my couch, my jacket or jeans, in between washes, even shoes. Fabrice will can cover afterwards with them to find them and freshen over 1,000 years. Fabrice fabric for pressure. There, buddy. Little, little buddy. That mean you do have that uh, wait, no, that is a positive and a negative, right? That's it's fine, right? Uh you guys wanna take one look at it? Then we're gonna go out there and wait for a little while. Yeah, you can see it's starting to get there. But it's not yet. So. Awaken with big
Playing some uh, non copyright sounds. No copyright sounds. So if YouTube says anything to me, it's on YouTube at MCS. Nothing to do with crime either. I'm going to start up the gators here soon. Yeah, uh, oh, we got, uh, 
where we went through the uh, NHRA. I guess it's a little the one that's general admission. Uh, the other one is uh, putting us in the seat row, blah, blah, blah. It rained a little bit on that day, but I wasn't really unhappy. <laughs> So warm. Yeah, I got some rocks from uh, Sandy Beach. That was the last guy. Black rocks that you get from, uh, yeah, the beach is on uh, uh, Lake Ontario. Probably find them on any. I like this stack. Like and then put them on so that, you know, that way Jim can come along. That's a Smith. Uh, I don't know what you're calling it. Microfiber. They're great for cleaning, lens, cleaning lenses. You do that with those things, right? Oh. I got a silver spoon. I did not grow up with this. It has my great grandmother's name on it, Daisy. Uh, she was written almost a year ago. It's a uh, it's a Tiffany. It actually does say Sterling on the back of it and patent number and Tiffany. I'll go right in my case. Oh, you know what else I got? Let's tell you guys a little secret. Uh, you go to uh, go to the store, grocery store, and you look in the return thing and coin chart. You see any coins down there? Don't hesitate to grab them because those are all 90% silver dimes. Please. 64 and 3. You can see how oh, there's no copper. See that? I don't know if you can see that, but it's all silver. Four of them. I also got this quarter here that I got to get that uh, Might be nothing, but you can see. Down the left side of the of the eagle's wing, right around the C and the A of America, you can see a blob there. And I'm wondering if that's a uh, dyer. Uh, maybe you can't see it, but anyway, there it's there. Probably. And uh, got we got one more. Thing. So, my aunt passed away. As I told you guys, you don't know. And uh, this is one of the things that just happened to be at her house and it was handed to me. Recipes. You can see there. It says, uh, I don't know if you can see that. It says Ruth. Uh, yeah, Ruth Rowley Thomas. That's my grandmother. And that was my father's mother. And Dean Baker. Thomas Baker. It's on. Uh, all of these. I mean, they're just. Check out some of this stuff. It's old. And you can tell. That's a little paper right there. That right there is bread and butter pickles. Donuts. I don't remember the last time I made my favorite donuts, but 
后，所以你还有很多在这边，是吧？或者是可以这样，可以这样，你们在。Books not all, but it's thoughts. I mean, they're general. There you go. Um, milk, water, sugar, all the notes. This is some uh, some old stuff, and I will be getting into a lot of this stuff. This. Obviously, from、um, yeah, there's some good stuff in here. Salt-free bread, no fail fudge. This is a recipe box. See, and this thing just has this, this one as well. A lot of cards that don't have anything on them, but all these cards here. Are all different ingredients. So I, I'm guessing this is my hands right hand writing. And、uh, he's like, he says that I have named these recipes after the folks I got them from. Does not mean these folks made up the recipe, except for a few. Uh, Matt Shaw, you know one of them.、Uh, Joyce Boza, Gene Baker, of course. Ruth Thomas, Grandma.、Uh, Luella Hayes, Mary Lou Vanderwerf, Barker, Barker, Barker. I know that. Grace Hindley, Ralph Clifford. It's that from the Travelers, Mrs. Corn Cornell,、okay. Daisy Thomas. That's、uh, my great grandmother. Diane Bowman, Sherry P, Dean, Dean Walden, Beth Hickebacker, Zelda Vanderbilt. And those, those are all the recipes that are ninety minutes. There's biscuits. There. There's my ants. Ants are pretty good. I got more biscuits. This is pot pot. Six meaty beef ribs. Yeah, barbecue sauce, honey teriyaki, which is just what's this here? Salt, garlic, salt, salt, onion flakes, baby carrots, potatoes, onion.、Uh, one quarter more of water and sugar. Brown, yep.、Yeah. Grandma Thomas has a sauce cake. There's a lot of these that are baking, which I could always want to get into that anyways. But very loose, loose, very buckle. I have no idea what buckle is. <laughs> We're just gonna someday wing it. You know, see what see what comes out of it. Uh, dump cake recipe for dump cake, hummingbird cake.、Uh, here we go. That sauce butter buttermilk spice cake. 
Squash, Castro, Cobbler, Adirondack, James, Blueberry, Cobbler, or Blackberry, Cobbler. All right, make that one too. Uh, Diane, lemon cookies. Everyone's no base. Yeah. Glasses, cookies. I mean, there's all kinds of cookies in here. Blue England cranberry pie. Rice pudding. Ooh, Elvis Punch. What is that? See, I have a blue lemonade sugar corn. I know. Bourbon or vodka goes well if you want to. Like it. From the Presley family cookbook. That's why I call it Elvis Punch. Elvis Punch. Presley. Elvis Presley's family cookbook. That's a potato salad. Adirondack salad. There's my grandmother's my grandmother's jello salad. salad. I always like this salad. Even though it has cottage cheese in it, it's not that big of a fan of cottage cheese. I would still eat that. Those are the keys. So you want something to hold on, so gotta find it first. But here I am. Just tell me, on your palm trees, waiting for this song. I know that there's nowhere to go. I'm definitely gonna end up getting into some cookies and cakes and stuff like that eventually. Well, right? For me, it's the next inevitable step of cooking. And uh, there's a lot of stuff in this. You gotta go through it. Yes, I'm going. You want my glasses? Oh, I got the coolest glass in here. Yeah. yeah. This makes it so I can see. I can't see room like we're looking at the end, but if you look at dates and stuff in a corner like this, you can see how warm it is. Yeah, 2011. Olympic. Washington. Boom, boom, boom. I'm not that deep. Like, yeah, I gotta look like this. Because if I try to look through the glasses at long distance, it just fucks me up. So. Abby. Really? What are you doing? See, there, there's a rare Abby. What do you got down there, Abby? Huh? It's delicious. Is that your mouse? Oh, yeah? Oh, messy. Oh, I got it. Got this with Facebook on the baggage. MCO is uh, Orlando's airport. So, yeah, stuff that happened, I think.
There you go, ring, ring. Now you're a standard moderator. Look at that same thing. It was so fun, eh? There you go. Now next time you, next time you uh, chat, you'll come up with, the, I believe, the blue and blah, blah, blah.
Getting close, guys. Getting close. Check on the R&D staff, right? Everything's running here just fine.
Is that beating together? Is that a hard the taters and make the gravy and serve it up so let's uh flip back over here all right
We're getting there. cook anymore over there because have to finish these taters and we're going to wipe that old ricer Probably another plate. Yes. I got I gotta try a little please I can't help it. <laughs> oh definitely. Okay, so <clears throat> bone came out of that one. Didn't come out of that one. But we're gonna strain this water or this liquid here. Crisis averted. Really, though. 
Let me transfer the liquid over to here. Corn starch. We're going to make what's referred to as a cornstarch slurry, which is take some water and put some cornstarch in there. Just make sure you mix it so you don't have lumps. Well, what else that is? What the hell? No, that's from my What I was going to say. Pork had some, uh, yeah, some, some of that on it. <clears throat> That's all right. Check our taters. Hey, damn. Supposed to be done there.
That's done. Eraser into there. Four was quite a bit. Not that I'm disappointed with that, though. More butter. No salt. Pepper. Oh, 
little creaminess with some sour cream here. Let's see the little plate going, huh? here. And boom. So you can add any vegetable you want with that. But for now, just for the video, I'm going with that. You can see well, that just pulls off there, right? I mean. Here we go. Oh, that is, yeah, luscious. In that gravy. Wow. Mm. Mm. Oh, grip just that melts. Melts in your mouth. Piece of rosemary. You can definitely taste the rosemary. Few other things. I like it a little bit more garlicky, but I didn't have it, so hmm. I am not complaining. Mm. 
Now you know all about me. Hmm. Well, guys, it's been a long one. Start off a little rocky. I'm all right now, I guess. I am all right with us. I, I knew it was going to be good. So, comfort food. A little warm up. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. That is awesome. All right, guys. Well, enjoy the snow. When the fuck ever. <laughs> I love you guys. And I will see you on the next one. I have no idea what's next, so stay tuned. Bye.